Today I think we're gonna get the brakes on the rear end and get it ready to put in the car and then I think we're gonna cut the torque tube down and maybe install the bell housing. We gotta get the caliper mount put onto the rear end. So we just need to Loctite these in there. And you're Loctiting that just to make sure it doesn't back out, right? Yeah. yeah. Now are those steel bolts or are those titanium as well? Those are steel bolts. A lot of people prefer to keep steel in there just because there's so much heat and there's a lot of torque on two bolts right there. Is there a reason you'd use that type of rotor mount versus like a solid mount? These have sliders on them. So whenever you bolt that rotor down on there like so, when the rotor gets hot and under RPM, it gets, obviously it stretches and grows. It helps with the heat dissipation for one with the scallop rotors, but then they start swelling a lot. And it makes it a lot nicer with these because this will actually mount on the rear end and then you can just bolt it right to. All you gotta do now is get the bracket put on the axle. So you're just gonna set it on the axle pretty much and then just slide it, get the lines lined up. It's being all new, it might be a little tight. It's gonna be tight. So next step after this would be to mount the rotor. We gotta mock this up and get the caliper on the mount here. So we obviously got our rotor pushed in too far, so we gotta move it back out to where everything lines up. So we'll check alignment here. It'll Maybe fit on there, but as more. you can see, the center of the, of the rotor is not in the center of the caliper. And then we can go ahead and tighten up these bolts. We're going to put the safety wire in the hole here. We're gonna do pairs of each one. Okay, so now we got them all safety wired on there and they're not gonna fall off. Jason can put this on here. Flip this up. So we're gonna be putting the torque tube studs in the top. There's two separate holes there, so if you ever get in a crash and rip one of them out, there's another set that you can rotate it and put another. Zach's coming over to make a video. Oh no, you're part of the shoot now. Yeah, you're <laughs> in it now. Way to go, Zach. You walked in at the wrong time. We got our winter shifter here, and there's a quick release ball that comes with it. So we're gonna put so the breather in next. So the last thing you gotta put in is this breather. Yeah, so you can get on there and install this plug. And that fitting will allow you to clock it. Yeah, that's a floating fitting, so you can kind of move it where you want. All right, so next we're gonna do the bell housing, get it on the car, and then from there we'll go to the torque tube. I don't know if that's still gonna be high enough. Does that hole over there match up? Yeah. It does? Yeah. Next, I think we're gonna cut the drive shaft and the torque tube down and get those ready. A little bit of bandsaw work. We're here at the bandsaw and we're gonna cut down the torque tube. What measurement do we need to cut it to? So for a 40 inch car, you're gonna cut all the torque tubes to 26 and a quarter. Um, the drive line is going to make a difference depending on what rear end you have, but ours is going to be an internal coupler, so it's 29 and a quarter. Next is the drive shaft. The drive shafts are going to be two different splines on each end. So the one that's the coarsest spline is the one that goes inside the rear end. So these come at 30 inch lengths and they need to be cut down to 29 and a quarter. Okay, so there we have a cut off drive shaft. So it's got some burrs right there on the spline. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna chuck it up in the lathe and we're gonna clean that off nice and smooth and put a little chamfer on it so that it slides in the rear end good. Now, if you don't have a lathe at home, what else could you use to cut this down? 
a lot of people have a bandsaw or a chop saw or something so you can cut it down with a chop saw and it's not extremely important to get that nice and square it's just uh, eye appealing to make sure that everything's right well that's done we got the torque tube cut down they're ready to go in rear ends all assembled next time we'll have a couple different guys in and we'll get the rear end installed in the car